And then it turns out, oh, wait a minute. If he claims he's retired now instead of like in two days, he loses like $15 million. Mm -hmm. So his agent very pointedly said only he can say for sure he understands the business and the timetable, right? I mean, uh, it looks like he's done. Well, I'm listening to his BFF and Jeff Darlington and his other BFF and Adam Shefty. If they say that he is going to retire, then he's going to retire. They didn't say he was retiring today or yesterday. They said he's going to retire. I think a lot of people are missing that with Adam and Jeff. They didn't say it right now. He's retiring tomorrow, news conference. They're just letting us know that he's lining everything up to walk away from the game. Well, as you recall, I said uh, why I took it personal. And, you know, man in the arena, he's talking about a lot of me in there talking, oh, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. He has uh, gone at me on Instagram showing a cliff in the past, Tom Brady. And I really do think that Brady, like a lot of great athletes, are not only motivated internally, but are motivated by critics saying they can't do it. And he just avoided the cliff because everyone in the universe, including me, is going to say now, next year, how would Brady play? Great. He'd play like an MVP level. I just saw him play at an MVP level. And now that there's not a single person left on earth doubting him, He's got nothing more to prove. Straight Talk Wireless, no contract, no compromise. Keyshawn J. Willemax, presented by Progressive Insurance. And for more Straight Talk, he doesn't know any other way. With Rex Ryan, giving you the Straight Talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless, no contract, no compromise. Did I mention that? What do you make of Brady retiring right now, Coach? Well, I, I think it's great. Uh, I mean, for him, he's, he's healthy. Um, he's... I mean, he is going out on top. I mean, let's face it, even his last game, guys, he took a, a team from a 24-point deficit, brought him all the way back. It wasn't his fault they couldn't play defense. Like, like so to me, this guy, he's going out on top. He, he led the NFL in touchdown passes, completions, you know, yards. I think the guy's, the guy's he, he, he did it all. And you know what, Max? It wasn't just you that disrespected this guy or whatever if he looks at it that way. The entire NFL did. When you made him the 199th pick, the entire <laughs> league missed on Tom Brady, and he kept that chip on his shoulder. And, and look, I, I truly don't believe he enjoyed kicking anybody's ass more than he did mine. All right? Maybe yours, Max, if you would have been in that arena with him. <laughs> uh, but he certainly kicked my ass, and he enjoyed doing it. But to me, I'll always say this. Like, this – like I love that I love this you know the competitor in Tom Brady. I I love the, you know the that the, the grit the you know the work ethic, the leadership, everything I love about this guy but I also hate it. And when he went I hated the fact I never got to to coach on on a team that had Tom Brady. And mm. and that's 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 part of it. my brother did he won two Super Bowl rings. Mm. He got more <laughs> Super Bowl rings than I got. And, and, you know, I had that little competition thing with my brother. He's got two damn rings because of Tom Brady. Wrong and era for you, coach. You can't, you can't beat a great quarterback look, nowadays. I, head, <laughs> how, how about do it? this? Head coach for eight years against Tom Brady. I had to face him twice a year. Like, how stupid was that? I should have gone somewhere else. Lex, now, was, now, there a moment, was there a moment coaching against him that, you, that just kind of stands out oh. more so than anything else? Yeah. They, you, look, I remember – just having an unbelievable plan against him, which very rarely happens. But, no, I had a good plan on him. And, I, I mean, we had five possessions in the second half, and we couldn't get a field goal. You know, five possessions, couldn't get a dang field goal. And I'm sitting back over there thinking, like, damn, I, this is as good as, as good as I can give you. And, and one thing, look, I, I can't do a whole lot in, in this world, whatever, but I could coach damn defense. And I had a hell of a plan on him and all that stuff, and I still got beat by him. At the end of the day, I still got beat by him. And it just would drive you crazy, but that's this guy. And here's the thing about the amazing player. The amazing player elevates the play of his teammates. And nobody did that more, in my opinion, than Tom Brady. Mm. Yeah, Rex, I, I, you know, my phone wouldn't stop texting and ringing yesterday because everybody kept saying, well, now I'm hearing that Tom Brady's – Stepping down and retiring. I'm also hearing that Rex Ryan finally wants to come back to coach that, <laughs> that Tom Brady is no longer, you know, around the National Football League. So whatever stop or wherever he goes to coach, he won't have to run into Brady. That's for sure. Yeah, no kid, man. Maybe in a re the old old man's retirement game or something. Maybe I could get him in a in a flag football game or something. But yeah, it's 
It is amazing, you know, and, and you go back. I was four and twelve against this guy. Wow. Like four and twelve. Like that's that's really getting your ass kicked. You know what I mean? But Actually, that's probably better than most. Yeah. You should walk around. Hey, hey, four I was four. And, I won one third of the game. One quarter of the games yeah. I played against this yeah, guy. I wish it was one third. Yeah, it's one quarter. Right yeah. yeah, one quarter. But yeah, no, nah, it, it, it's funny. And, and you go back and look. Well, what would your overall record be if if you didn't have to face Tom Brady? Actually, looks pretty good. You know. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.